How the shot changed the world. You need to get shot if you want to halt this pandemic. I mean, shot with a vaccination. In the past 10 years or so, vaccinations have gained a lot of attention. Additionally, you may quickly subscribe to our Could Be Anything channel by clicking that hot button. Like this video, leave a comment, and press the notification bell. No matter where you are on the political spectrum, you'll undoubtedly find something in this video to be angry about. Vaccines shouldn't be a political topic, but they have become one for some reason. Therefore, let's just lay everything out on the table and get it over with. Autism isn't brought on by vaccines. Period. However, it is true that immunizations may result in major side effects. However, the adverse effects insignificant in comparison to the diseases that the immunizations prevent. We'll also demonstrate how the anti-vaxxer movement has politicized vaccinations and is currently linked to the COVID-19 outbreak. Many people are refusing to subject themselves and their children to vaccinations because they believe they are to blame for a number of side effects, despite the fact that vaccines save millions of lives by preventing diseases. Our herd immunity decreases and vaccinations become less effective as more people choose not to receive them. In order to address this, school districts and local governments have started enforcing vaccine requirements, which has only fueled the anxiety of anti-vaccination activists and given rise to a successful subset of conspiracy media. The rush for a vaccination is on, and rumors of making it mandatory are flying as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic that is currently driving the world to collapse, a great deal of mortality and economic damage. Because scientists are hurrying to produce and push through the COVID vaccination because of these historic times, some groups are concerned that there may not be much testing. So how exactly do vaccines function? Let's examine your body's functioning now. And no, the talk is not about to happen. When a disease enters your body, it begins to spread. Your immune system produces antibodies after identifying the invaders. These antibodies perform several functions. They assist in eradicating those invasive microbes as their primary task. They might not react quickly enough to save you from getting sick, but they'll do their best to find the attacking microbes and help you recover. The second function of the antibodies is to guard against subsequent infections. They still have a recall of their attack strategy in your bloodstream. Now that they are aware of how to combat these specific viruses, they can eliminate them before you become ill. This is immunity. Immunity can be built up with vaccines without getting sick initially. The same bacteria, or portions of them, that cause the disease, are used to create vaccines. However, the microorganisms in vaccines are either eliminated or rendered inert so that they cannot make you ill. Your immune system responds to the vaccine by producing antibodies, much like it would if it were being invaded by the disease. The antibodies will protect you if you are ever exposed to the actual sickness. One vaccine can protect you from some diseases for the rest of your life. We require a new vaccination every year for the flu and other infections because they evolve so frequently. Okay, then why are there people who are so blatantly opposed to immunizations if they save so many lives? A large portion of it is caused by worried parents looking for information about what's best for their children. Only 28% of respondents to U.S. public opinion polls in 2008 agreed that parents should decide whether or not to have their children vaccinated. In 2018, it stood at 46%. Vaccine adverse effects are typically cited as the justification for vaccine opposition. The possibility for vaccine side effects must be considered against the ability to potentially save generations of lives. A fake source that connected childhood immunizations to autism gave rise to the anti-vaxxer movement as we know it today. It was then repudiated and repeatedly refuted. That's not to say a side effect of a vaccine can't be frightening. A fever, a rash, potentially a seizure, or any other uncommon or even more frequent side effect can be terrifying to a new parent getting their infant vaccinated and can appear harsh and unnecessary. After all, the infant was healthy before to the injection. Now that it has been shot, it is responding in this manner. First off, not every incidence involves a vaccination reaction. Keep in mind that correlation does not imply causality. It doesn't necessarily follow that one thing caused another just because it happened at the same time. Also keep in mind that we lack a firm understanding of just how terrible these diseases are. Some of the worst diseases in human history have all but been eliminated thanks to vaccinations. They return if there is no immunization. That you might get a rash is awful. However, widespread death is worse. 
A half billion people died of smallpox between 1880 and 1980. About 80% of US military fatalities during World War I were caused by the Spanish flu. These are the numbers of people that pass away each year as a result of diseases that go uncontrolled. The measles claimed 4 million lives in 1980. Due to the vaccine, that number has lesser to 140,000 in 2018. Vaccines can cause allergies in certain people. They are available. They have the option to refuse vaccination requirements imposed by educational systems and local governments. For them, it is even more crucial that everyone else understands them. When there are a lot of unvaccinated children spreading a disease, vaccinated children will also contract it because not everyone who receives the vaccine reacts to it. 95% of those in your immediate vicinity must receive the vaccine for you to achieve herd immunity against the measles. But the anti-vaccine movement sure seems appealing. And in this day and age, that means a lot. Studies and data only go so far and don't make as much news as anecdotes, gut instincts, and falsehood spread by distraught and bereaved parents who could be resistant to the truth. Additionally, organized and skilled media manipulators make up the anti-vax groups. Researchers at George Washington University monitored Facebook discussions on vaccinations during the 2019 measles outbreak. The number of active anti-vaccination communities was three times more than that of active pro-vaccination communities. The researchers discovered that whereas anti-vaccine pages handled vaccine resistance as a kind of political campaign and employed diverse messages to target different categories of indecisive voters, accurate pro-vaccine Facebook pages were mainly grouped together in an exclusive group. It seems a clash is imminent as the number of COVID deaths increases. The pandemic has disturbed life all around the world, and as nations relax their restrictions and more people die, international leaders have come to the conclusion that there won't be a return to normality until a vaccine is developed. Even though a COVID-19 vaccine is available, misinformation is still circulating about it on social media. The effects of medication have been mentioned. Additionally, any COVID-19 vaccine will have its testing accelerated because to the insane urgency of the pandemic. Anti-vaccination advocates will undoubtedly seize on this to make the allegation that the vaccine is unproven and hazardous, turning legitimate worries about the shot into irrational worries about its safety. There are already rumors that Bill Gates invented the virus and is looking to make money off of it. People may need to take the COVID-19 vaccination after it has been authorized in order to enter some locations. Not that the government would show up and order everyone to accept it. Therefore, ignore your uncle who always wears camouflage, lives in a tent, and has a strong jerky and Miller Lite scent. The US government won't pick up everyone and make them take a shot. However, it's possible that before being admitted on their premises, stadiums, airlines, even grocery stores and other privately held enterprises, will require you to present documentation of your immunization. You have witnessed the outward tantrums that people have thrown when required to wear masks. Can you imagine the tantrum someone may have if they are denied entry to Disneyland without a valid immunization record? The pandemic might continue for months after herd immunity was attained in the United States if it was not contained, infecting many more millions of people in the process. In fact, it has been suggested to rip off the band-aid in support of this. Millions of fatalities, all of which could have been avoided, are the band-aid. As of this moment, this pandemic claimed the lives of about 6,342,123 people. And that is with the most severe social isolation present. Imagine how many people would die without it. So, despite how frustrating it is, it appears that the best course of action at this time in the COVID-19 problems is to practice social distancing, wear a mask, wash your hands, and get the vaccine. Vaccine side effects can occasionally be very dangerous but constantly keep in mind that the disease is worse. If you could write a comment and let us know what you think, that would help everyone feel better. To remain informed about anything please subscribe and press the notification bell of the Could Be Anything channel. Thanks for watching.